The last time I tried to start this up, I had no display out. And uh, I thought, I want to give it another go. I want to try and figure out what is stopping it starting up. In theory, it should just start because it used to work. I didn't stop using it because it didn't work. I stopped using it because it was getting old. This is the Mozart TX. And inside is a fully water-cooled PC that I built about 20 years ago. So I want to try and see if I can start her up. Now, this has DVI out display, yeah? So I have a converter, HDMI, to display it out on DVI. I'm gonna plug that in. Give me a second. Make sure I've got it around the right way, which I haven't. Plug that in. I need a power supply for the actual PC itself. Power on. We have lights on the motherboard, which is a good sign. Oh, let me just quickly show you what she looks looks like on the inside. Yeah, I was taking it apart, but I thought I want to see if I can start her up. So it's a bit of a mess. A bit like I said, it was my first what we we'll call PC. I built it a long time ago, and in theory, it should just start up. Bring it back round. I'm going to get to the power button at the same time, just in case something starts making funny noises. Fans are starting up. We have three lights inside. That looks good. But do we have a display out? I don't know. Pumps are going, I can hear the pump starting up. Bit low there, but that might fill up in a minute. See, it's running. We have a P1. Three lights with a P1. Any ideas what a P1 is? Let me just quickly show you, see if you can see it. I'll have to Google it. So three lights up there, P1 down there. Let's see if I can find out what P1 is. A P1 error code is caused by abnormal rise or drop of voltage in the circuit. Now that could be the little tiny battery. It could be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the little battery that should be on the motherboard. I'm going to swap it over and put a brand new one in. Right, so it's a good job I've got a tester, a battery tester, because one of these is the original battery and it is completely dead. See, nothing. And I went to insert a new one, but I thought I need to test it first. So, look, that is dead as well. Brand new one. So, here is one that is working. Hopefully, you can see that. Hopefully. Let me see if I can show it and move it about a bit. See, four bars. And that's what I've put inside. Because I'm pretty sure if you don't have a good battery, she won't start up. 
I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And yes, it did leak a little bit, only a little bit, which I quickly dried up. Me moving all them pipes about on them graphics cards, it did make a little bit of a, a little puddle. Only a small one, nothing to worry about, hopefully anyway. <laughs> so, uh, give me a minute, I'll set it all up and see if she starts up. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, it should now start up and give me a display. Hopefully anyway. Fingers crossed. And hopefully it was just a battery. Fans are going. I did have a little water leak, I did mention that earlier. Come on baby, don't let me down. Right, so, it didn't work. So my next step is to make sure everything is plugged in. Because it could be I've not plugged everything in properly. I need to check it. So I was wrong about the battery. It's worth a try though, wasn't it? I mean, it was actually dead, so it needed changing anyway. But yeah, it still didn't work. So I was thinking maybe it's the power supply. And luckily for me, I have a spare one. And no, it's not the power supply. It will still not come up or start or give me a display of any kind. And it's still showing P1. So, I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you know. So, what I've decided to do is completely strip it. And I have started it. I haven't finished actually stripping it down yet. And I've already made quite a mess on my uh, decking and on my table. But I've cleaned it all up. So it all looks nice and clean. So I won't get any bashing from the wife. <laughs> so, uh, with that, let me know in the comments what you think it might be. And... If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. It does help the channel to keep on growing. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notified. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think it might be that's stopping it from starting up. Or even giving me a display. I'm guessing the motherboard's probably at it. But I will be testing it in a later video out of the actual case. Just to see if I can fix it. 